Snow Tracks is sponsored by Ski Do Snowmobiles, Yamaha Conquers Snow, and by FXR Racing Full Throttle Addiction. Anyone who faithfully watches Snow Tracks TV knows we run some of the best contests and sled giveaways in the industry, and many of them are in conjunction with Arctic Cat. The first contest we ran with Arctic saw the winner go home with a brand new limited edition ZR6000 Tucker Hibbert race replica sled, which is cool, but there was more. Not only did you win the replica sled, but you won serial number 02. Tucker got number one, you got the next one in line. The winner also got an all expenses paid trip to Thief River Falls to ride with Tucker himself and a number of other Arctic Cat legends like Joey Hallstrom and Roger Skyn. The next contest saw the winner take home a brand new ZR8000RR, but again, there was so much more involved. We flew the winner and his brother to Arctic Cat's top secret 2016 new product photo shoot, where both the winner and his bro got to ride for the cameras and actually ended up in the Arctic Cat brochure the following season. Of course, both these winners got to ride with the Snow Tracks crew and were featured in a story on Snow Tracks TV and in Super Tracks magazine. You know, just to prove to their buddies that it was actually real. For 2016, we wanted to ramp things up a notch even further. So we sat down with the Arctic Cat crew over a year ago and hashed out a new contest. This one offered not only a sled, a trip to ride with the pros and a chance to be on TV, but the sled would be completely customized on the show using a long list of parts and accessories from the Arctic Cat catalog. Pretty cool, right? Well, we thought so. But to take the contest to the final level of uber awesomeness, we doubled everything. So there would be two winners. We called it the Dream Ride. There's no question this is the best contest we've ever run. AJ built the two sleds, an M8000 Limited and an XF8000 Limited in the Trail Tech shop using an unlimited number of Arctic Cat parts and accessories. When the sleds were complete, they were showcased at trade shows and events all over North America. Tens of thousands of people entered online at trade shows using ballots found in Supertrax magazine and of course, at their local Arctic Cat dealer. After all the entries were consolidated and verified, it was time to pick a winner. So we reached into that huge vat of entries and picked two names, Dana Olerich and Justin Balcos. Lucky for us, Dana, who won the M8000, actually does ride in places this sled will shine. He travels to the mountains a few times a year and spends a lot of time off trail in the UP of Michigan. Justin rides only an hour from the Snow Tracks TV headquarters on many of our favorite trails, so the XF was the perfect sled for him. With a new set of Fox shocks up front, new skis, and a long list of other super cool upgrades, Justin's XF8000 is perfectly set up for riding trails and running lakes in Ontario, Canada. Dana's new M8000 Limited got a nearly complete overhaul. The entire front end was replaced with Arctic's new Bone Spindle and Fox Evol shocks replaced the Float 3s and a new set of skis rounded out the package. Out back, AJ installed new running boards, a new rear bumper, new Evol track shocks and the complete 3 inch track and driver setup from the 2016 models. In the end, this M8000 was transformed from a great mountain sled into an outstanding one that I know will take Dana anywhere he wants to go in the mountains or the UP of Michigan. The final aspect of this contest was the ride. We wanted to make sure the winners went home with not just the sled, but a brain jammed full of memories that will last a lifetime. The question was, where do we go and who do we ride with? And the answer was easy. Of all the people I've had the great pleasure of riding with over the years, there's no question the two I've had the most fun with is Rob Kincaid and Dave McClure. From here on out, lovingly referred to as Rob and Dave. My last trip with these guys gave new meaning to the word epic. Snow coming over the hood, unbelievable mountain terrain, and an overall great time made that trip one I will never forget. Rob and Dave are awesome guys who love to have fun themselves, but also love to see other people enjoy the backcountry and develop their own high altitude riding abilities. You simply couldn't ask for better guys to ride with. Rob offered to take us to a secret location right behind his shop, so we knew the terrain was gonna be incredible. Arctic Cat set us up with a whole fleet of 2017 prototype M8000s and we supplied the winners for what was no doubt going to be a ride that could have otherwise only dreamed about. Snow Tracks is sponsored by MBRP Performance Exhaust. Lightweight performance.
I think the thing that makes the Dream Ride contest really, really interesting and one of the best I think the industry's ever seen is the sheer number of interesting and cool things you get to be a part of if you win. In terms of what Dana and Justin should expect from a day like today, if there's one thing I know, it's that Rob and Dave are entertaining both to watch ride and to listen to just talk. So I think that they're gonna have a blast in that respect. So I heard a lot about Rob. Rob's a pretty popular guy, I guess. He's, uh, he's pretty easy to talk about. I heard he's a bit of a mad dog in terms of hanging it out in the sled and whatnot. So uh, riding with both of them, it's pretty funny. They contrast each other really, really well in terms of their personalities and riding style. So uh, being in the midst of that was pretty cool. From watching YouTube videos and snow tracks TV and stuff, I've seen Rob and Dave before, and it always looked like it was a good time. Meet Justin and Dana today, and you know, they showed up at the shop, and very respectful guys, and you know, they were glad to be here. Seemed like good guys right off the get-go. You know, you, you always have guys that tell you they ride so many miles in the mountains, and you don't know what to think until you get them on the trail. And Because we had Justin with us, who was uh, a relatively new snowmobiler, avid snowmobiler, but less experienced and hadn't ridden off trail almost at all, we knew we had to start in a location that was going to be conducive to him learning how to ride a mountain sled. So Dave took us to a perfect spot. Taking you know people we don't know, people from back east, you know, out riding. It's uh, we, we've done it enough now that. We've kind of got it figured out where we, we, you know, take them to an area that, you know, offers a little bit of everything, you know, a little bit of trail, a little bit of boondocking, you know, a little creek crossings, you know, and, and, and so it works well. You can kind of evaluate how good they are, you know, right off the get-go. We felt like we could just get out in the powder and start ripping some turns right away with the guys. and They were all about it. There was no whining, no nothing. They just... They just took it all in and loved it. And... So I'm coming off of a 2006 uh, F7 Articat. It's completely different. I can't even compare the two. Like I wouldn't even call them both snowmobiles. Perfect day, nice deep snow, over the hood snow all day. And it's, it's neat that we're riding new stuff. I thought it was really cool that both Rob and Dave wanted to take this opportunity to help Justin and Dana become better mountain riders. So they split up in pairs and went out on the hill. First, first hour, I would say, I was, it was a straight struggle for me. I was fighting the machine and trying to, you know, make stuff happen that wasn't happening. And then after a few tips from, uh, from Dave, it's been cleared right up and I'm really starting to get the hang of it, I think. But uh, definitely a workout for sure. So uh, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Got myself stuck pretty good a few times. Just in 30 minutes, I can see a big progression, a big improvement in their riding, and, and they're starting to get these cats figured out. And... The expectations is that I had for coming out here were, you know, that I was gonna work really hard, and it was gonna be a rough day, and that I probably wasn't in good enough shape. And I figured that watching, you know, Rob and Dave, that it would make me wanna try some of this stuff, and that I had to, you know, curtail my riding so I didn't get myself in a lot of trouble. Good guys to ride with. I uh, can't ask for much more than that. Dave and uh, Rob have been more than helpful and uh, taught me so much already in the last few hours. Winning a contest like the Dream Ride Contest is a pretty special thing if you think about it. We had thousands upon thousands, tens of thousands of entries. So for two guys to be picked out of all those entries, that's pretty impressive and that's a, a pretty special thing for them to be a part of. It was very apparent to me that they both understood that. This whole experience as a whole, it's been, uh, it's been unbelievable for me. It's been, this is one of those things I hadn't planned on doing until I, you know, had enough money. I'm 21 and for a 21 year old in school to be able to come out in the mountains and ride with some of the best guys in the industry, it's, uh, it's to say the least, it's extremely, uh, extremely honored and feel blessed to be out here. Overall, it's been a great trip and very thankful for Snow Tracks TV, Articat, everybody that had any say in the sled or gave parts for the sled. I'm very, very thankful and very, very excited that I get to start riding it when we get it sent to the house.
Snow Tracks is sponsored by Snowmobile in Quebec. Experience a ride you'll never forget. At Snow Tracks, we're always speculating about what each manufacturer is going to release the next season. Our suspicions are confirmed each year when we're invited to an early look we call sneak peek at the new model lineups from each OE. This season, I got the chance to see and ride all the new 2017 stuff from Polaris and Articat, and it's now time to show it to you and let you know what we think. There are a number of new features and even a couple new models in the 2017 lineup. The most impressive of which is definitely the reintroduction of the much revered XCR. XCR is a sled that's every bit at home racing the i500 as it is carving the twisties or banging ditches in your backyard. What's most interesting about the XCR is that it's based on the Axis Pro S platform, not the Pro X. But don't be fooled, it's killer in the bumps. More aggressive shock valving and a number of changes and enhancements aimed at making the vehicle durable enough to be raced in stock form, as well as more aggressive rider ergonomics, make the XCR the perfect middle ground between the trail-friendly Pro S and the ditch banging approach jumping Pro X. The next big news is a new skid frame for many of Polaris's long track on off trail type sleds. The Assault, for example, is a sled we've always wanted to love, but in reality can't stand because of its poor rear end ride quality. A brand new skid frame utilizing much of the Axis Pro XC rear suspension geometry results in a 144 inch assault that transfers weight and rides a lot like an Axis. This new skid frame can be found in a number of different models in the 144 inch length. The final piece of big news is Timber Sled. This product is being fully integrated into the Polaris lineup and is getting full support from Polaris R&D and engineering groups. But we wrote a few of the new timber sled models, including the SE136, which has two Fox QS3 shocks and the TSS center shock, and we've been blown away with how different it is than the 2015-16 models. Trail manners are much improved, ride quality is excellent, and performance is every bit as good as it's always been. There are many other changes and updates across the entire 2017 Polaris, Snowmobile, and timber sled lineups. We simply don't have enough time right now to cover them all. But it is safe to say, any 2017 Polaris snowmobile buyer won't be disappointed. It's not really a big secret that Articat has been moving away from using Suzuki power plants. One of the last remaining models with Suzuki power under the hood is the 1100 Turbo. But as many suspected, it was only a matter of time before the 10-year-old 1100 mil was replaced with a Yamaha unit which it was in the 7000 series and now has been again with an all new 9000 turbo. The base chassis and suspension is the same as all other Pro Cross cats, which is good because with the new suspension packages and valving we saw in 2016, this chassis is just starting to show its true colors. The engine is a variation of Yamaha's 998 triple used in other applications. It's also 10 pounds lighter than the old 1100 turbo and that's a weight saving that's immediately noticeable. But the truth is, the first thing that's gonna catch your eye when you look at the new turbo is the plastic. Developed specifically for the turbo, this new plastic is designed with three purposes. First, it accommodates a new front-mounted intercooler. The plastic also features great big louvers on the nose, which are designed to cool the brake and clutch and also lower underhood temperatures. This new plastic was designed to be easily removable with some of the best fit and finish quality we've seen on any Arctic Cat ever. Side panels come off with two super slick proprietary quarter turn fasteners that work every time. We're super glad Arctic Cat has reintroduced the Thundercat name with the sled that is absolutely worthy of the title. They claim this is the fastest production snowmobile ever made. Is it fast? Oh yeah. Its peak 180 horsepower is realized around 8,700 RPM, and in 30, 40, 50, and 60 mile per hour roll-on starts, it pulls like a freight train. Another cool piece of news from Arctic Cat in 2017 is the reintroduction of the Mountain Cat. This sled is targeted at the most aggressive high altitude riders and is now Arctic's official three inch model. The chain case was dropped an inch and a half, providing more than enough room to run the three inch paddles and the optimal eight tooth drivers. The Mountain Cat has also gone on a diet. About six pounds of weight was removed from the sled in many different ways. A few other minor but equally as interesting things we saw at the 2017 Arctic Sneak Peak were a new handlebar grip, which seems fairly unimportant, but really has to be felt to be appreciated. 
overall, Arctic Cat's 2017 new model lineup is greatly improved in countless ways. The new turbo is every bit as great as we knew it could be. The Thundercat oozes cool and we want one. The Mountain Cat will take you even further than 2016 M sleds could and new shocks for the RR make it rideable. Clearly, there's lots to get excited about from Articat in 2017. Snow Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto, a unique world of equipment, tools, and more. Closed captioning of Snow Tracks is sponsored by Triton Trailer, built for adventure. For 2016, Skidoo's made some pretty big changes to their lineup and done away with a conventional track length that we all know and... Okay, well, we all know the old track length, but this new one? Well, we love it. What I'm referring to is the departure from 120 inch track lengths to the new 129 inch track, and for today I'm testing out a 2016 MXZX 800-129. It's not just a BNG, to us that means bold new graphics. It's an exceptionally well-equipped trail shredder that's built to take the abuse you dish out. By that, I mean it's an X package, and yes, the letter X has been used by every single snowmobile manufacturer and wrapper in one way or another, but when it comes to Skidoo, X always means next level suspension technology. The X package MXZ comes with the HPG Plus R front black anodized rebuildable shocks. No, they are not nearly as good as the XRS, but even without the piggybacks, we are so used to seeing on the X package, this shock does provide a very good ride. It also features rebound adjustability through the use of an easy, glove-friendly red clicker knob on the lower portion of the shock. Threaded preload allows you to get the spring calibration right for your weight and riding preference, and as I already mentioned, you don't have to throw these away after a few hard seasons. They can be fully rebuilt and brought back to life down the road. The RAS2 front-end geometry is significantly better than the previous version RAS, and while we do still have issues with the heavy steering on the front end of this sled, the R-Motion in the rear makes up for most of it. To say that R-Motion is the best working rear suspension, it's not any kind of claim or an endorsement. It's quite simply just the truth. This rear skid works. It's buttery smooth when the trail is fresh groomed, it's exceptionally good at smoothing out mild uneven braking bumps or aggressive trail chop, and even when the trail has seen a weekend's worth of riding and not a sight of the groomer, the R-Motion will take what others would seem unrideable and make it just another part of your day. Yes, it's that good, and thanks to the extra 9 inches of track, it's even better for 2016. Some of the thanks can go to the chassis, some of the thanks can go to the extra length, but at the end of the day, Skidoo has nailed R-Motion, while all of the other manufacturers are trying to play catch-up. Now let's talk about the features of the R-Motion that really make it deliver. Right up front, this is an X package, so you've got the tunnel adjusters. One side does spring preload, the other is compression. Many folks say they don't need this feature, but I'd argue most of them have never tried it. And let me tell you, while I have raved about the R-Motion rear skid's ability to traverse varying levels of moguls, it's not without adjustments, and the tunnel adjust is how you make those in just a few quick seconds. If you're a premium level buyer willing to spend the extra on upgraded shocks, premium amenities, and better performance, the X package makes all the sense in the world. But if you're an intermediate or novice rider, what's the benefit that X is going to give to you? In current form, we spec this X package out with the following upgrades, sunburst yellow graphics, adjustment package, and the 1.25 Ice Ripper pre-studded track. That's a premium of $1,250 Canadian and the same price in the US over the base 800X. But if I were to drop down to a TNT 800 E-Tech with the same graphics, I'd only save myself about $750 before upgrades, or $1,800 after adding all those cool parts you can't get on the TNT. So what I'm getting at is that the X package during the spring buy is not just a decent deal, it's the deal. If you know you're gonna buy a sled come winter, you're much better off from a performance, retail price, and resale price standpoint to buy an X. I know at this point I haven't said a whole lot about the 800 e Tech, and truth is that's because I really don't have a whole lot to say about it. It's not bad, it's not amazing. It, well, it just is what it is. Okay, so I sound like I'm trying to hide something, but there's nothing to hide here. This motor is getting long in the tooth. Not technologically speaking, but rather in the performance category. The 800 e Tech was and still is the leader in cool technology. The problem is the 800 category has proven that yes, it wants technology, but primarily it wants performance, both horsepower and economy. And right now, this engine is not class leading in either. I know that I might be nitpicking over five to seven horsepower, but when you're number one in sales, there's an expectation to be number one in horsepower. 
And don't think for a minute Skidoo doesn't have something up their sleeve. You've no doubt heard about it by the airing of this episode, so let's talk about what the E-Tech does do well. All across the power band, this motor delivers very good performance. It hits very hard down low, pulls crisp and clean thanks to voice coil injectors in the mid-range, and will even make you open your eyes when you curl your thumb at 70 miles an hour. At the pumps, it's respectable on fuel and oil consumption, and when it comes time to call it a season, you have the very unique engine storage feature where the motor will prepare itself for the summer months all by itself. Uh, like I said, it's not lacking in the cool and unique technology department. When you take a good hard look at the MXZ X package, there is a lot here to like. Arguably the most popular snowmobile on snow for the past, well, decade, this sled has a lot of people following it. And if you got your hands on one for 2016, yes, there are a couple of things that we would change, but for the most part, this is a great sled, and you'll probably be pretty darn happy with it. Snow Tracks has been sponsored by Polaris Terrain Domination. Arctic Cat, share our passion. And by Ontario Highlands, come wander. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, like it and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.